Hi, I'm CJ Altenberg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We appreciate you tuning in. Today we got a treat for you. This is by far my favorite living quarters that we're inventorying right now. Uh, this is a 14.3 Outlaw conversion. This is a 2021 Cimarron North Star Four Horse Living Quarters Air Ride Trailer. So this is going to have a lot of stuff on it that we're going to walk you through. First, let's go ahead and take a look at how the trailer lays out itself. It's 34 foot on the floor, so it's not a massive trailer by any means. This is still a trailer you can get in and out of most places, maneuver pretty easy. You have the ability with that 14.3 to have a slide out. So it's a really well laid out trailer and gives you a lot of uh, just comfort. It is eight foot wide. It's seven, seven tall. We're talking about a rear side load with a full width rear tack. Then, if we look at the, the living quarters itself, again, it's an outlaw conversion, 14.3 with the slide, so again, just really opens up the trailer itself. Uh, but what we were trying to do is we were trying to get you those dual seating, dual sleeping areas in the main area right there in the living quarters. So let's now just kind of jump into the trailer. Bear with us, there's a lot of stuff on this trailer. We don't want to miss anything. Uh, because of how well equipped and what a cool package this is. Now before we get too far into stuff, let's talk about this trailer, Cimarron. All aluminum construction. You have the industry's best floor on the market, four inch centers. It's an interlocking floor on a 12 inch extruded deck. The strongest upright posts in the industry, the strongest door frames, window frames out there that you can find. And then they cap it off with an insulated roof that's standard on every single Cimarron. Now we'll get into that a little bit more when we get into the stall area on this trailer. But let's talk about the warranty. So you have eight year war structure warranty from Cimarron, three year hardware, the wheel and tire vendor that Cimarron uses. You have a one year no questions asked warranty on the tires. So you can catch road debris, a nail, have a blowout. We don't want you to have that, but if it happens, they'll send you a new tire. They stand behind it a year. You also get two years of roadside assistance as well. So now let's talk about how this trailer is equipped. Because this is a slide out trailer, you'll notice dual, dual jacks. And we like to do the electric over hydraulic. And the reason why is they're really responsive. They're really quick to operate up and down. But then there's also a manual override. So if you get an emergency situation, getting this, tr this trailer off or onto a truck, you have that, that capability. And then when we're dealing with the hydraulics of this system itself, we opted on this trailer to put electric over hydraulic disc brakes on here, so really good stopping power as well. Dual 30 pound LP bottles, a lot better than the 20s from the standpoint of capacity. We understand you're going to be on the road. Nobody wants to go be cha you know, changing bottles on a frequent uh, basis. You, know, you have more uh, capacity there. We like upgrading it even on our Proline XPs where 20s are standard into these 30s. Uh, just for that reason. Aluminum battery box. You see your batteries, everything's labeled extremely well. That way you kind of have an idea or a, a technician can find a certain wire if he needs to, where that goes to, battery disconnect as well. And then tucked behind it is our onboard compressor for the air ride system itself. Now I'm going to talk a little bit more about the benefits of that, but this is really easy to operate. It's all self-contained. We turn it on, we put it in the raised position, and we go down the road. Before you load horses, before you load tack, we actually like to leave it in the lower position because everything's about two and a half inches closer to the ground. Uh, so our, our ramps aren't as steep, our steps aren't as big. Let's get everything loaded, and then before we leave, we just put it in the raised position and you're ready to go. Frameless windows on this trailer. These are going to be standard on the 22 models, but since this one's a 21, we like the look of them. That's the way it's going. So we opted to go ahead and just upgrade to these frameless windows on this trailer itself. I'm going to shut this door right here because I want to put some emphasis on that door. It's not a prefab door that's rounded at the top that's extremely lightweight. This is an upgrade from even the heavy duty door that Cimarron builds that we would have to then maybe incorporate a retractable uh, screen 
For this is the Challenger door. This is extremely heavy duty. The latch is big. It's really easy to operate. It's more of like a car door where it's really simple. A lot of these other ones we have to really slam shut. This one's the just the functionality and ease of, of operation is extremely easy to use. Then we also get this upgraded screen door as well. So if you're traveling with small kids, small animals that might jump up on this, it's a lot heavier duty from that standpoint. We love doing this on these high-end trailers. It's just a, a really good option to have on these. So as we get into this living quarters, again, a 14.3 with the slide out by Outlaw Conversions. So when you go with an Outlaw, you get the extremely high quality. I mean, these are custom cabinets specifically for this trailer. They're all hardwood. They build them, they do a dry run where they'll actually bring them in and fit them in certain areas to make sure that no adjustments need to be made. If they do, they do it. Uh, they don't just cover it up with trim then it goes back out and then has it stained done to it but you know outlaw conversions have been around a long time the quality is there if you take care of it we get excited when we get outlaws in on trade because of the quality we have customers looking for those maybe a brand new one just doesn't fit in the budget um, to where hey if you get a used outlaw in about this size and three or four horse you know let me know um, so they're really sought after trailers but we also notice that we don't put as much money into repairs when we run them through our service departments uh, because of that quality. And again, a lot of that is, you know, customer taking care of it. Um, that, that plays a big part in, in it itself. But, you know, we really like these outlaws from that standpoint of you're buying quality. And then we cap it off with a Cimarron. So when we combine a Cimarron and outlaw, challenge you, find somebody else out in, in the industry that can cover a trailer three years knows the tale everything on this trailer with an outlaw conversion and a Cimarron is covered for three years and that's pretty unheard of. I mean there's always add-on uh, warranties you can do extended warranties but when you purchase it you're getting that right up front. The other cool thing is is you get the ability to have customer service from outlaw 24-7 365 days a year and just for the fun of it we're gonna do something here. We're gonna call Miss Sandy at Outlaw, get on speakerphone here. This is Sandy, may I help you? Hi Sandy, it's CJ Trans West. Hello CJ, how are you sir? I'm doing super, how are you today? Um, wonderful, wonderful. Well good, well hey, I really don't need anything. Um, okay. We're just doing a, a, a video walkthrough on a new Outlaw that we just got in from you guys that is a fantastic setup and beautiful quality as always. Uh, but we were discussing a little bit about the customer service and getting to hear your lovely voice. Well, <laughs> thank you. You're welcome, Cindy. I'll get back to the video. I'll let you go. But I appreciate okay. you taking the call. Yes, sir. If y'all need anything, let me know. Thanks, Sandy. Yes, sir. Thank you, CJ. Yep, bye. Bye. So that's what's so cool about that is if you're having an issue, um, you need help with something, you need to find a service center, we need to find a mobile tech, you can call Outlaw, you can get Sandy, Miss Sandy on the phone, or you can get somebody that, you know, that helps her out as well. <laughs> I guarantee you she's not, she doesn't have that phone on her 365 days, 24 seven. She needs a break too, but she has people there to help her as well. But that's what's so great about it is you can get them on the phone, we can get you to where you need to, you know, get something addressed or walk you through a scenario to where you can, you know, go ahead and operate this trailer. Technology always changes. Uh, maybe maybe a living quarters is new to you. You've always had a run around trailer, but you made the step into a living quarters. So as we walk you through it, there's a lot of stuff we're gonna throw at you. So sometimes we go, man, I kind of forget how that it is. Um, you know, on the cool thing about the internet is, is a lot of these functionality is, is, is same on RVs and campers. So you can YouTube a lot of stuff, a lot of three to five minute videos and we'll walk you through it. But get in a situation where you need somebody to help you out you can call outlaw and that's what you get when you purchase an outlaw so enough about that let's kind of shift over to how this trailer is equipped again we're really excited about this um, this has been a great seller for this we've really only been doing this not even a year this 14.3 um, but again what we we're trying to do is we we're trying to do a 
a seating area, seating area, that both of these turn into sleeping areas. But, you know, typically, again, we're not reinventing the wheel here. We're not taking for credit for coming up with this fantastic setup, but we've tweaked it and made it work for us. Usually we have to deal with the hydraulic slide. And the hydraulic slide has a bigger footprint. We need more framework. So that means more living quarters. So again, we we're trying to create a smaller package, try to keep you in that 14 foot range. Um, so this has a Liftco electric slide. It's not as big of, of framework that we need and footprint we need as a hydraulic slide. Uh, these electric slides have come so far. They're heavily used in the motorhome industry, camper industry. These have been extremely well received and, and functionality uh, by our customers that have purchased these. But then what we can do is, again, we've got this, this whole package that we can kind of cram in a little bit smaller setup. We like doing the dinette here, and the main reason why is we can make it a full dinette so we can seat four people at this dinette, and then it'll fold down into a bed. To run the gooseneck drop wall, we have our sofa sleeper that will lay down as well, clear the slide out. But if we, if we swap these and we put the dinette on the drop wall, it's really only a two-seater. I mean, it really is. So it's a smaller option there. So this is the reason why we like this. The other thing that works really well is on the electric slides, we can't do our water storage there. So it works great underneath this sofa sleeper. So again, just functionality, it, it really works and works extremely well. But this is a great place to entertain. You know, a lot of people can sit in here. Uh, you know, again, multiple sleeping areas as well. And then Outlaw does such a good job of trying to get you about every nook and cranny that they can think of for storage. We understand you're carrying a lot of stuff with you. So here's some overhead cabinets as well. Um, normally these are fold, you know, uh, cabinet doors here, but we upgraded to these pull-out drawers. This is a great place to store like linens, uh, you, you know, your, your pillows, your sheets, your blankets for this you know these two sleeping areas down here it works well too because i can pull it out and i can get everything there to where if i had a cabinet door you know i'm having to get on my hands and knees and dig back there through all, all that stuff and and pull it out so that's an upgrade there more overhead cabinets up here and then as you get into the actual gooseneck area we have a pony wall there and then there's a 32 inch flat screen tv more storage up in the nose, day-night blinds, memory foam mattress. You'll notice the LED lights, you know, recessed into the ceiling. And then you'll also no notice the ductwork. Um, that way we can kind of maintain our cabin temperature a lot better when we have the duct. We're not trying to pull all of our air right here from the central location, trying to get it up into the nose, trying to get it in the bathroom. By having this ducted, we can manipulate airflow, but we can create a more consistent air temperature in here. And then when you kick your heater on, you know, we'll be able to run our fan to where it, it'll pull it in. And then again, you know, put some heat up into the nose, put some into the bathroom, again, creating a nice consistent temperature for you. Um, but then again, you can manipulate some of that as well. Over here in the kitchen area, you'll notice a lot more storage, some drawers underneath the, the actual sink itself but look at all this counter space and the reason why is it's got because we did this recessed two burner cooktop that will set down and it just creates more counter space for us when it's not in use you got to cover over the sink you've got this nice hammered sink here this guy even pulls out we got a sprayer and then we've even got a fold up extension on it. So again, we can create more of a, um, you know, a lot more counter space when you're prepping food. Again, we're not having to step over one another. If I got to go to the bathroom with this slide out, it just really opens it up and gives you a lot of, a lot of space to maneuver around. We got a hood vent, microwave above that. Another flat screen TV, 32 inch. So again, this guy can we can move it around, we can point it in different directions. So if you're seat, seated at the sofa with the dinette, you know, you can see it really well. But again, it, it again the just the layout of this just flows extremely well. 7-0 refrigerator freezer, so you get that big freezer. So you can take a lot of food with you, a lot of frozen stuff with you as well. 
And then as we go into the bathroom, we've got a pocket door. So that helps so we're not having to step around a door as we come into it. But a lot of people are, think that now we're going to get kind of skimped on some size of this bathroom, but that's not the case. This works extremely well. You've got a toilet that you don't have to stand over or hover over if you're in front of the bathroom vanity. You got a lot more storage. Those are all adjustable shelves in there as well. But again, you can stand in front of this bathroom vanity. And again, I'm not having to hover over anything there. Um, this bathroom vanity works extremely well. We did dual doors on this one. The very first one we built, uh, we did one single door, which you had to kind of duck out of the way because that is a big mirror there and a big opening. And we opted to change this. I mean, we always try to improve the trailers after the fact when we get them in. Um, you know, maybe we don't get 100% right on the first go around, but we'll continue to tweak it and make it better and better every time we can for the customers. Radius shower with a skylight, so it gives you a little bit more headroom, more natural lighting. There also is a power vent above you that, again, more light and just airflow in here. It's picked up off the floor, and a lot of people ask why they do that. Well, there's a couple reasons. One is we're running our furnace duct work underneath there, but also, and I'll talk a little bit more about RVI certification, but to make it RVI certified, we actually have a true P-trap underneath there. Um, some, some conversion companies won't have a true P-trap, but this one does, just like your house. So, uh, also, you've got a nice big closet here, dual close rods. That cushion is for the dinette when you set it, in, it down into a bed. There's also an additional table, leg, and a base. So if you wanted an additional table for the sofa sleeper, you've got the ability to have that as well. And then your pass-through door. But again, you know, we're not, really, we're not you know, skimping what we're doing in the bathroom here because of what we did in the living quarters. This, again, is just such a good size. It flows really well. Again, we were able to cram a lot of stuff in this uh, without making it feel cramped by any means. It really feels open in this trailer. Before we step out, up above the door, you got two cowboy hat racks up there. So again, just, hey, let's get creative on where we can store some items. I'll show you out here, but here's an operation for the electric awning. So it's just a push button in and out, not like our manuals where you have to mess with those, getting them extended or retracted. We also have our operations for our slide out. And then this trailer is equipped with an onboard Onan 4000 gas generator. So you can operate everything you need to on this trailer with that generator. So if you get in the back country, a trailhead, you get to an event where you're parked in the back 40 and don't have power, you can turn this guy on and operate everything you need to on the trailer itself. So as we step out here, I talked a little bit about RVI certification. So Outlaw Conversions is the last living quarters conversion company on, you know, on the market that is RVI certified. And what that means is you can take this trailer to any public or private park, national park, campground, fairgrounds, and you meet all the standards to plug in and do everything you need to on with this trailer itself. Um, they also lobby for us when it comes to us running these trailers, motorhomes, campers down the road for us. So they, it, it is a really good association to be part of, and we're really proud that, that Outlaw is stuck with that RVI certification. Out here, here's that electric awning. I've got it run out. It also has an guard on it. So when we roll this in, that is gonna protect from UV rays that will eat up these awnings over time. Uh, we usually see that on trade-ins that don't have that. It's usually the first 8 to 12 inches that roll out against a trailer that are just ruined. They get brittle, um, high winds or hail potentially can damage them, and that's where we get those hole, holes over time where it cracks. Uh, but that Luma Guard will give so much life to this awning itself. You also have a standard LED strip light underneath there, so you have a lot of light coverage. It's a great place to entertain. You've got an additional porch light above, kind of not above the door, but close to the door. Exterior speakers, those are waterproof. Courtesy lights down low as well, grab handle light up. So again, it just, 
everything's lit up extremely well for you so you can see what you're doing hang out out here and entertain so before we get too far we'll take a step back and look because this extrusion we actually like to extend this extrusion on these high-end trailers all the way to the nose it just gives it a good look to the trailer uh, but what we did on this one is we opted to polish it so instead of the mill finish that kind of duller aluminum look we polished this one so our top rail bottom rail side extrusion is all polished you know just makes this trailer look really sharp um, LED button lights we put quite a few on there more load lights 16 inch awning LEDs above the horse area again a lot of light coverage we understand you're not gonna be doing everything in the daytime so we'll cover a couple things here. This is a small option, but we like to do this at TransWest. On our living quarters, our eight foot wide trailers, bigger trailers, we like to do the amber turn signal. And what that does is it indicates when our blinkers are on, when our brakes are on, and also works as an additional marker light. These are big, long trailers. You know, when we hook a truck to it, it makes it even longer. It's just letting people know, hey, we're trying to get over, we're braking, here I am. They don't pay attention to us. We all know that, but that's a small option that we like to do and we're doing on all these, all, all these trailers. Tail side, we have uh, drop windows so we can create more airflow. I'll talk a little bit more about that when we get in uh, to the stall area. Now let's talk about this suspension setup. So two 9,000 pound air ride axles. These are rubber torsion axles with the shock kit and then the air ride system. So, why that's important is the old air ride systems, if something happened to our compressor, a line, a bag, you were stuck, you couldn't go anywhere. With this, if something does happen, it sets it down on the rubber torsion axles and you can get down the road to where you need to go. But the air ride is so beneficial, not only for how well this trailer pulls, but more importantly for the horses. Um, you know, we have countless customers that pull air ride trailers. You know, we could get you in touch with them. You could quiz them on what they think about it. The most common thing that I hear from a lot of my customers is I'll never own another trailer without air ride. Once they have it, they're done, they're hooked. They understand the benefits of how well it pulls, but more importantly for the animals. Again, as the horses step off, if you're going competing somewhere, you know, a lot of times, you know, trainers will sit there and say, hey, I can cut a day off the front end of my trip because recovery time is so much, you know, quicker for the horses themselves. Dexter Axles did some testing. It actually took away 52% of the road shock. So think about their, their joints on all these horses as we're going down the road. I mean, roads aren't, aren't smooth. You know, you're gonna hit bumps, you're gonna hit bridges, you're gonna hit railroad tracks. It's gonna, it's gonna provide a shock to those joints and that air ride system will take that away from it. So extremely beneficial. We know you'll love this air ride system. And again, it's really easy to operate. We've got some how-to videos on operation of them that we can send to you. They're really short clips, but again, very easy to use. So then what we have is we've got 17 and a half inch Alcoa wheels. With this being polished, we like those Alcoa wheels. They just look big and stout. They really dress up the trailer as well. Cap it off with 18 ply Continental tires. So major running gear underneath here with the 9,000 pound air ride axles those Alcoa wheels, the 18 ply tires, and then to top it off for stopping power, like I mentioned, electric over hydraulic disc brakes. So really good stopping power on the trailer as well. So now let's talk a little bit about the stall area. This is what's so cool about this. This is such a popular setup today uh, because we have that full width rear tack that we'll get to here in a second. But we have our door that opens up. We have a ramp that folds up over that when it's shut. But we also have a drop window in this back door as well. So we have our, our three drops at stalls one, two, and three, and then we've got the ability to have a drop at number four. We actually put a little bit more length in this first stall here, and there's a couple reasons for that. We, wanna, we need a little bit more room for horses to make this corner. It's not our traditional rear load where it's a straight shot on and off. Um, so, you know, these bigger hipped horses, you know, making this transition around here is a little bit awkward, but, We've added length here to make it a little bit more accommodating. But then as you can see, I've got this divider here. And because of these 9,000 pound axles, again, it makes it a little bit tight. But we put a breakover divider here at the first stall as you enter. 
Now look at how that completely changes this. This opens it up extremely well, making it real easy for horses to come in, make the corner or back off of this as well. And then as we open up dividers moving forward, you know, they lay flat against that one over against the mangers. Again, making it really easy getting the horses on and off. So we talked about our drop windows on tail side. We have drop windows on head side that I'll show you on the outside here in a minute. But then we incorporated airflow dividers, airflow head drills. Airflow is important because, I mean, think about this, 9,500 degrees, no air movement, it's miserably hot. You don't feel good, everyone's grumpy. Now, a little bit of a breeze comes through, you feel a little bit better about life, everyone's a little bit more comfortable. So what we're doing is we're trying to create airflow in here for the horses as well. Um, they, they feel the exact same way. Roof vents so we can manipulate some airflow as well. But then you have the insulated roof that's standard on every Cimarron. So it's a half inch thick, it has an R3 thermal value, it keeps the stall area extremely cool. Um, you know, compared to an aluminum sheeted roof, you're about 20 degrees, or uh, excuse me, about 20% cooler uh, with this insulated roof compared to those al aluminum sheeted. Same thing, coming to our lot here on this asphalt, five o'clock at night, four o'clock at night, it's 90, 95, 100 degrees. I'll throw you in a, a trailer with an aluminum sheeted roof and it's gonna be miserably hot. Now, I move you over to Cimarron and it's gonna make you feel a lot better, a lot cooler, um, good setup, again, creating, the, you know, keeping the horses nice and cool. Now with this setup here, with rubber mats, you know, it's not fun pulling mats in and out of trailers, period, but it is essential. We have to take care of this floor. Because of this setup, making that turn there, it is a little bit more uh, difficult to pull those mats out. So we opted to scrap the mats and we put worm flooring in this trailer. So what you have is you have a permanent rubber floor on this trailer. It's unpenetrable. You muck out your, your solids, you power wash it out. Simple. You're not having to wrestle the mats in and out of this trailer. But as you can see, Cimarron has tapered everything. You know, we have no 90 degree angles. Even at the fender, it's not, it's not squared off at the top. Um, we try to create radiuses or taper everything for horse safety. Someone does a fantastic job putting a lot of emphasis there. On the dividers, everything's rounded. It's smooth. Slam latches for safety for you, safety for the horses, really easy to operate. On top of that, this is a heavy UHMW plastic paddle latch. So we don't have metal to metal contact creating a lot of rattle, a lot of noise. Air ride helps with that, but we're just, this is how they build every trailer. That's how they're going to continue to do it. Padded dividers as well, stud divider at one. LED lights, a lot of light coverage in here as well. But again, these are so easy to operate. And again, having this breakover divider makes a massive difference when you're loading and unloading. We've got a hay pod up top. Behind that is our box for that Onan 4000 generator. And then there's a platform back there as well. So we can stand up there. You know, you're not standing on the roof, which you could do on a Cimarron. Um, but it's really easy getting up there to operate on everything, having that deck up there. And then here it is, the full width rear tack that's so popular. Why it's so popular is you get so much tack space, maybe not quite to the extent of a mid tack if you're looking at square footage, but it's dang close. We have a two foot short wall with a four foot offset. So we have a six foot long wall back here in this rear tack. On a mid tack, you really need, because of the angles, you need probably a minimum of a five foot tack in my opinion for it to function correctly. Four just, it's, it's because of the angles, everything's too tight. But what did we do? We just added link to the trailer. So if we did this setup with a mid tack, you're probably gonna be more like 37 foot on the floor. To where in this one we're 34. Because we added two foot back here for this rear tack. But we're doing length when you're doing that mid tack because it goes all the way across. So this is why this setup is so popular. Nice big door, carpeted door, four tier blanket pole rack on a gas shock. So real easy to operate and use. 
rush tray for some smaller miscellaneous items. Swing out saddle rack on another gas shock as well. So now grabbing saddles, putting saddles back on, really easy to use. These are adjustable as well, so we can move them up and down. And then it swings in. Now, because of that out here, we did opt to go ahead and put a step on here because there's still a lot of room. We can still have a lot of storage in here. So having that step, we're not having to come clear up to the floor of the trailer, just making a lot, of, a lot easier. You have a freshwater tank, obviously, on the, on the LQ and an exterior spigot. But if you're needing to fill up a water bucket, maybe wash your hands, water the dog, whatever you need to, hose off the kids, anything like that, we're not tapping into our freshwater. We actually have a Half Moon 48 gallon water tank behind this saddle rack. The Half Moons work really well on flat surfaces or 90 degree um, corners compared to the, the corner water tanks and you have more water capacity as well. So now we can use that water rather than tapping into our water in our actual living quarters. Carpeted wall, two rows of bridle hooks here. So you got a lot, a lot of uh, ability to store there. The carpet's gonna make sure tack's not rubbing against the wall, potentially damaging it, making a lot of noise for the horses as well because they're on the other side of this wall. There's a light above the door facing in here, an LED light. It's the same light we use for the load lights outside. So we have a lot of light coverage. It shoots down and out. We put a nice big shelf across this long wall here. It's got a lip to it. So a lot of items could be stored up on top of here. You've got this floor space for some stuff as well. This box over in the corner, that's actually our fuel cell uh, for the onboard generator. I'll show you where that fill is here in a second. But man, what a nice setup there. Uh, we opted for the single door. Sometimes we do double doors on these. It's just kind of mixing it up for inventory purposes and kind of what feedback from customers on what they like in certain setups. And then to get up there to that generator and that pod, we have the easy angle ladder. And these things are so cool because it's not a bolt on ladder that I gotta go straight up the side of this trailer. This angle makes it so easy. So if I'm carrying something, I can actually carry it and go up there. So if you're going straight up, you really can't do that. Uh, so this can also be added to trailers. So if you go, hey, that's kind of cool. I, I don't want, I don't like my bolt on. I'd rather have one of those. Call our parts and service department. They can help you out with that. Talked a little bit about where that fuel cell is. Right here's our fill. So now I can fuel my pickup up, pull up to the gas pump, and top off gas for my onboard generator all on the same side. Here's our drop windows. We've got the jail bar down on this one. This way, if we want to throw some extra feed to somebody, give them a water bucket, something like that, it's really easy to operate. It just sets right in there and then you can close it. These are so heavy duty. This is massive framework around these windows. They're extremely well built, heavy duty, welded hinges with grease so easy to maintain as well. And you can see the welds. Yeah, yeah, those guys are, those guys do all right. I'm not a welder. I couldn't even remotely come close to that. <laughs> but I know quality welds, at least when I'm looking at it, just being around trailers over the years. So uh, all these handles here on the manger doors as well, everything's key to like, so it's just one key to everything. Same on your back tack. We have three manger doors. So again, more storage for you. We understand you're gonna be taking a lot of stuff with you. These doors have the same framework. Same welds, same welded hinges with grease certs as well. Escape door at stall one. So maybe that you could double out as a mudroom sometimes, hop into the bathroom. Additional storage if you're not hauling forehead. Maybe you're hauling three or two, maybe even one. You have the ability to uh, have some storage there. Because of the stud divider, we don't have to worry about smaller items, you know, getting under the horses in transit. There's that frameless window on the slide out. Same up on the nose or up on the neck area there. But again, as you can see, this is just such a cool setup. Not overly big by any means. 
Um, again, a 14.3 outlaw conversions with the slide. 2021 Cimarron North Star four horse living quarters, air ride suspension, onboard generator, hay pod, full width rear tack, worm flooring. This trailer is decked out. So if you have any questions, give us a call on this trailer. I'll give you the stock number for reference. That number is 5N201170. Anybody on the sales team can help you out, answer questions. We've got other trailers on order. We do this in a three horse. We've got other four horse options. We really like this layout. This is the layout we're gonna keep coming and in multiple setups. So give us a call. Anybody on the sales team can help you out. That number is 303-684-3400. We appreciate you tuning in. Thanks and have a good day.